Alec Baldwin likely breathing a sigh of relief today after prosecutors formally dismissed the involuntary manslaughter charge against him. The charge was related to the death of one of the actor's co-workers on the set of the movie Rust after a prop gun in Baldwin's hand went off. New Mexico prosecutors have decided to drop criminal charges against actor Alec Baldwin in the 2021 fatal shooting of cinematographer Helena Hutchins on the set of the Western movie Rust. 32 Santa Fe, one female shot in the chest, male shot in the stomach, request an air flight. Police body cam footage shows the moments after the horrific incident. How's it going, sir? Um, so, uh, my understanding, um, you, were, you were in the room when the lady when someone I was, was the shot? Holding the gun, yeah. Okay. 65 year old Baldwin was charged in January with two counts of involuntary manslaughter in connection with Hutchinson's death and the injury of Rust director Joel Souza, who was also shot. Live rounds in the prop gun. That's a bullet. Right. So, as I suspected, somebody put a live round in the gun. The actor was accused of showing a reckless disregard for safety in Hutchinson's death. He pleaded not guilty in February after prosecutors downgraded the seriousness of the charges, reducing the potential prison time. However, sources close to the investigation say there is evidence the gun had been modified, which could have caused it to fire unexpectedly without the trigger being pulled. We are pleased with the decision to dismiss the case against Alec Baldwin, and we encourage a proper investigation into the facts and circumstances of this tragic accident, Baldwin's lawyer said in a statement. The first assistant director on the set, Dave Halls, was handed down a suspended sentence last month after he pleaded guilty to negligent use of a deadly weapon. Prosecutors had said he was responsible for set safety. The movie's armorer, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, also faces manslaughter charges and has pleaded not guilty. We want to interview you and him just to eliminate all possibilities that there was a crime involved or any of that stuff, okay? Meanwhile, production of the film restarted yesterday in Montana, 18 months after the fatal shooting. Filming will take place at Montana's Yellowstone Film Ranch set. In October, Baldwin settled a lawsuit with the cinematographer's husband, Matt Hutchins, under which filming would restart with the same principal actors and the same director, Joel Souza, who was wounded in the 2021 shooting. Under the deal, Hutchins became an executive producer on the movie. A special prosecutor says it is possible the dismissal of this charge may only be temporary, pending further investigation, and that Baldwin is not absolved from criminal culpability. Joining us now to talk about this high-profile case is criminal defense attorney Ari Goldkind. Ari, what do you make of this charge against Baldwin being dropped? Does this mean new evidence has come to the surface? And could he potentially face different charges? What the prosecution has realized is that they were insane to bring the charges in the first place. It was a disgraceful prosecution, heavily politically motivated. Remember, different than here in Ontario or Canada, there are district attorneys who seek elections there. They go on to political offices. These are political offices. You see that discussed, obviously, in the Trump prosecution. Alec Baldwin, and you can ask people who don't like him or don't like his politics, because that seems to be how anti-social media responds to it. But from a purely legal perspective, they had no case. They had the weakest of statutes to charge him. Even the family of Miss Hutchins, who was very tragically killed, did not want this. But the statutes in the state involved were used extraordinarily weakly. It was a terrible prosecution from the start. So the only thing that surprises me is not that they pulled up, because it's not easy for prosecutors to admit that they were stupid or short-sighted. It's that he was charged in the first place. Baldwin was the one with the gun in his hand that day. So can you explain why you believe this charge was not warranted? Sure. A lot of people don't understand the Alec Baldwin story. But if you're a lawyer like me and you're interested in these matters, you dig into the weeds. There is what's called an armorer on the set. And then there's another assistant to that person. That job, which was done by a complete fool, 
named Hannah Gutierrez Reed, somebody who was a nepotism hire and had no business being an armorer, and who has been charged in this, by the way, and whose charges will not be dropped, was tasked with making sure that when Alec Baldwin on the set in the church for rehearsal was handed a gun, that the gun is empty, that the gun is cold, that there are no live rounds of ammunition. When, when Alec Baldwin was handed that gun, he was told it was a cold gun. The idea that some people have that he's supposed to doubt the person and their assistant whose literal existence on the movie set is to make sure he's not handed a live bullet that could kill somebody. Anybody who has that view is somebody with a perverse view. And as you mentioned, we know the armorer and another person responsible for safety on set have been charged. Could this mean jail time for them if they are found guilty? I do think, unless Hannah Gutierrez read that is her name, people can look it up because she is, again, a completely incompetent person on the set and her defense is eye-rollingly stupid to her negligence that day. I do think that there could be jail time for somebody like her now. She's going to say she's young, she was busy that day, she was inexperienced, she was stressed out, she was underpaid. None of that has anything to do with the very simple question that a judge or jury will have, which is if your job is literally to make sure he's not given a real bullet that could kill somebody, a human, let alone a deer, how in the world can you justify handing him a gun that when he was told it was a cold old gun and that wouldn't harm a soul had a live round of ammunition. And if that isn't something where we know sometimes homeless people go to jail for stealing a sandwich, how would this young lady not possibly be looking at potential jail? Thanks so much for joining us, Ari Goldkind. Always great to be with you.